So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to maximize the lifespan of your solid state drive. So there's a few simple things that you just need to do and it will really improve the lifespan of your SSD considerably. So the first thing we're going to do is disable the automatic defrag that is enabled with Windows 7. So what you're going to want to do is go into your control panel, click on system and security and then go down to administrative tools and click on defragment your hard drive. So what you then need to do is turn off the schedule. So I currently have it turned off, but if it's on, you need to click it and turn it off. So you should never defragment an SSD as you really don't need to because the access times are so fast anyway, and it does damage the drive. So another thing you're going to want to do is disable drive indexing. So the way you do this is you go to my computer, find your SSD, right click and go to properties. You then untick this box at the bottom that says allow files on this drive to have their contents indexed. Untick it, click apply and then OK. So drive indexing really isn't needed on an SSD again because the access times are so quick. So the next few techniques are a little bit more advanced are going to require us to edit the Windows registry. So if you don't know how to get the registry up you go to start and then run and then type in regedit. So what we're going to do is disable superfetch and prefetch. So once you've got the registry open, you need to go to H key local machine, go to system and then current control set, then control, then session manager, then memory management and then prefetch parameters. So to disable superfetch and prefetch, you just find them in the list. The list is pretty short here, so they're just at the bottom there. Uh, you just double click on them and then set the value to zero. I'll just center it in the camera there so you can see. Set the value to zero and then click OK and do that for both prefetch and superfetch. So you're also going to want to enable AHCI mode within your BIOS and this basically improves system performance a little bit but also enables the trim command within Windows which I'll mention next. So what you need to do is go into your BIOS. I have an Asus board here so it might be slightly different on yours but you need to go into the advanced tab and then SATA configuration and then change the SATA mode to AHCI mode. So the last thing you're going to want to do is to check if trim is enabled within Windows. So what you need to do is open a command prompt as an administrator. It has to be as an administrator otherwise it will not work. And then type in the sentence that I have written there. So you can pause the video there to check it. Then press enter. And if the command is zero, that means that trim is enabled. If it's one, that means it's disabled. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe for more.